Hello everybody, welcome to the show. Bass Bonsai, we're out on the water and we're gonna do a little challenge. Trout magnet challenge. Everybody's uh, talking all oh, the new Shimano Aldebaran uh, 22, right? And I'm over here like, what's wrong with the Silver Creek? So anyway, we're gonna see if I can get out here, it's windy, and catch us a largemouth bass with the one gram trout magnet. Buckle up, hang on, enjoy the show. Let's do it. Okay, it's way too windy for a trout magnet, but heck, I'm here. I might as well try a trout magnet, right? So the wind's blowing hard this way, so I'm going to try to just cast using the wind if I can. Nope, not going to happen. <laughs> so my release is going to have to be crucial. Or it's crucial, so it's going to have to be uh, way, like, trying to throw it straight ahead oh my god that sucks so I just want you guys to witness trout magnets are no fun because when you're dealing with the gram okay winds died off a little bit it's like oh but they work oh boy All right, trout magnet challenge, done. Thank God, because I probably will never fish it again. He almost swallowed that thing. There we have it. And they definitely eat them. It's just getting it out there to them on any kind of gear, really. What I should do is try one on a one of little chatterbaits, 16th ounce. So there we go. Do I need a pick? Probably. All right, there we have it. Trout magnet challenge is done, right? Caught a largemouth bass with the trout magnet. Game over. All right, guys, there you have it. Finished where we started. We accomplished our trout magnet challenge. We caught a largemouth bass using a one gram bait and I do not like using that so anyway we're done though right airstream that's not the airstream cup the silver creek alphas variant 